Hey champs. That's short for champion. Today I'm going to show you how I created this white rabbit anime scene. Uh, it's fairly easy to create in Blender, so let's jump right in. Alright, let's start with deleting everything as usual. And uh, let's add a cylinder. Rotate it along X axis. So this is going to be our shooting star. Scale it up on the Y axis to make it longer and add a couple of loop cuts. Let's create a curve. So this is going to be the path of the shooting star or a comet. I'm not sure. Let's add the curve modifier and select Bezier curve for curve object. And change the form axis to Y. Now we have something that follows the path. Okay, next thing, let's add shader. Add the mission node. Color ramp, gradient texture, and uh, press Ctrl T if you have a Node Wrangler add-on. You can enable it uh, here under add-ons and check Node Wrangler. Under texture coordinates, switch to UV. And let's add mix shader node. Invert color. And transparent. So these two black uh, colors, they should be transparent. So under alpha, drag this all the way down, so it's zero. Then go to the blend mode and switch to alpha blend. and add any colors you like. Okay, so now we have to add a couple more nodes to make it look like the comet is leaving a trail. So some kind of texture. Let's add noise texture and see what it does to our, to our comet. And plug it in scale. Press Ctrl T to add a couple more options. And let's see. Let's control the texture with an object. Add um, an empty and uh, switch to object. Now you can see with an object I can control the texture. Switch to 4D under noise texture. Let's see. have to play with some of these settings to get the desired look. It's 
So now when you mode empty, you can see it leaves a trail. You can animate it. That's a good start. We can add some more um, detail to this texture. Let's add a mix uh, color node. Let's copy this and plug it here. So now it looks more cloudy. And with the object you can adjust it so it's more more angled. Change the scale. Maybe adjust the roughness a bit more so it looks more interesting. Alright, sweet. That works. What we also need is some particles, like little specks of shiny dust. Let's add another mixed shader node. You can just go ahead and duplicate the existing one. Uh, let's plug it. Actually, let's make the dust separately so we can see what's going on. So all you have to do is uh, create a color ramp. Just copy, duplicate the existing uh, noise texture. Actually, we can let's just duplicate this entire thing. Plug it in and see what's going on. Now we have to adjust some stuff so it looks more like like a dust. Let's reverse all these settings. Let's scale it up. Maybe increase the detail a bit more. All right, this looks good to me. To plug this in. This is going to be a factor. We need an emission. And these are going to be our specs. Oh, we can make a similar color to the actual shooting star. Okay, let's maybe adjust the scaling a bit, a little more. So the trail is a, is a bit more prominent. Okay, so next step is to take the shape and reset the position by pressing Alt-G. And we need to take this and duplicate this shape so we have an extra layer of extra detail. And go into the edit mode and scale it up by 1.5 and move it back roughly where the first shape has the tip. 
so it matches. Alright. Let's copy a new material. And this is going to be an extra dust, extra cloud, a layer. Right for this material, let's delete the dust layer. Let's delete the second noise texture. Actually, let's hide the very first uh, shape. So you can see better what's going on. Switch back to UV. Let's make this thing actually to be a factor. And let's simplify this shader. We will be able to control the extra trail with location node. Alright, so let's unhide our original trail. Let's parent this uh, cylinder shape to, to our original one. In the outliner you can just select the second one, press Ctrl click and select the first one and in the viewport press Ctrl P and set parent to object. And now you can control both of these with one object. Let's add a camera, press Ctrl Alt 0 on notepad. Now let's animate it. To add a keyframe for location by pressing I. A couple frames, maybe the whole length and uh, by pressing G and Y, you can move it along the curve. Press I again and press location. And in, in the timeline, select both of the frames. And press T and set interpolation to linear. animate the clouds or the trail by pressing I here under location let's maybe move it 1.5 meters also set the interpolation to linear
Let's grab our empty. We can also animate this. So for the empty object, select follow path and uh, choose the target or Bezier curve. In the offset, you can animate it. Press I. In the offset tab. Let's move it just a little bit. Also set this to linear. Okay, so and the last thing that remains is to make the very tip shiny. Uh, it's pretty simple. Let's just in edit mode add a couple of more loop cuts and just uh, select this whole uh, ring here. Add another material. Let's make it a mission. Let's crank up the strength to maybe 100 and assign. Let's assign a color. Alright, now you can populate your scenes with beautiful comments. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and check out the White Rabbit anime. Uh, if you want to get this blend file you can download it on my Patreon page and support the development of Fisherman series. Also speaking of Fisherman, uh, in a few days I will announce something big for the Fisherman pilot episode, so stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.